The movie Little Women actually has a lot of really cool nuggets that relate to parenting. Vicky and I are going to share some of our reactions to that movie. In this first clip, it's early in the movie, and Meg has gone to a dance, and she's twisted her ankle. And Laurie is kind of introduced to the family at this time. He comes into the home, and he meets Marmy, or the mom, for the first time. There's a lot of chaos going oh, yeah. on, and that's part of what we noticed in this first clip. Let's take a look. Aching in the middle of the night, and don't mind the clutter, Mr. Lawrence. We don't. Lori, please. Can I call you Teddy? Yes. You must be part of their theatricals. They could use an extra... I'm Amy. As you can see, when they come into this scene, things are just going crazy. It's pretty late in the night, and mom is running around, all the sisters are running around, the, the house help is running around. I was just thinking, too, can you relate to this as a parent? Don't mind the chaos, we don't. <laughs> because it's just kind of crazy. And what I love about this, Vicki, Marmy is not trying to cover it up. No. She's not trying to pretend that everything is just the way that it should be. And she's not be. irritated that her plan or her routine got messed up at all. She's so good-natured about mm -hmm. everything. In fact, you see that in the next part of this right. little clip. Rolls or play a girl. Have a spoon. Yeah, thank you. And ice. Lori, how are your ankles? Do you need ice? No, thank you, ma'am. Just call me mother or marmy. Everyone does. One of the things I love about that is she's not apologetic for doing things her own way. She loves to bake in the middle of the night. She's got four daughters and she's busy and she bakes in the middle of the night because mm -hmm. that's what brings her peace and brings her happiness. She's not trying to fit any mold. And I think that's one of the most yeah. important parts of this scene is that so often we get in our minds that we're supposed to be a mom in a particular way, whether it's the way a friend does it or the way your mom did it or the way your husband thinks you should do it or the way your husband's mom did it or whatever and mm -hmm. she's just being the mom of her home the way that she is the other thing i really like about this particular portrayal her joyfulness mm -hmm. she honestly looks like she's having a great time yeah. in the middle of all this chaos and she invites laurie to come on in and enjoy it with her mm. for this next clip there's a part in the movie where the girls are sitting around and kind of complaining really yeah. about christmas not being the way that it normally would be. They don't have the resources to get gifts and to right. celebrate the season. And the their way dad they is gone. Would. Dad's gone, mm -hmm. off with the war effort. And mom is just setting everyone down to breakfast. Christmas breakfast. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. What? What is it? Not far from here lives a poor young woman, Mrs. Hummel. Her five children are in one bed to keep from freezing, and there's nothing to eat. My girls, will you give them your breakfast as a Christmas present? So mom brings up, you know, gives them the opportunity to now do some service, which is a really great parenting tactic, is to teach our kids how to have service and compassion for others. And the best way to do that uh, is first by modeling it. I'm thinking about the context around this too. So. Remember, the girls were already kind of having a hard mm -hmm. time with, we don't get to have the kind of Christmas that we were planning to have. Put yourself in this mom's position for a minute. She's, she's coming to her girls knowing that they're probably going to have yeah. a little bit of problem with this. Yeah. How often does that come up for us as yeah. parents? that we know we're going to disappoint, that there, our children are going to be disappointed. Yeah, a or a difficult conversation that mm -hmm. we need to have with yeah. them. But she brings it right up. I, I love her directness about that. And she asks them very directly, will you do this? Mm -hmm. Let's see how this plays out. Is this where you say that father would want us to? Yes. <laughs> I know. The thing I like about that, you know, we have talked so often about having your parenting team. And the mm -hmm. parenting team can look so different. Sometimes it's a husband, sometimes it's a parent that is helping you parent your children, sometimes it's a good right. friend. But there's this united front in the parenting team. And right here, she has modeled that enough for the children that they guess it before she brings it up. Is this where you say that this is what father would want yeah. us to do? that united front mm -hmm. really important but i can see also that the girls are really processing this mm -hmm. right now i think marmy knew 
that she would be able to sell this idea to the girls because mm -hmm. she knows her daughters. She knew that it wouldn't be easy for them. She's willing to have the difficult conversation. There's mm -hmm. just so many things about this that I really like. This third clip starts where Amy has been at school and she's drawn a picture of the teacher and she got punished. In trouble. <laughs> and corporal punishment, something that you know we don't see now, but her hand is injured. And they're over at uh, the neighbor's home kind of processing all of this right now. Okay, let's take a look at what happens. Yeah, Joe will teach you. Me? I already teach Beth. You're a good teacher. Yes, women being taught at home is much more proper, I believe. Only mm. because the schools for women are so poor. Indeed. Quite right. I wish all the girls would leave his horrible school and that he would die. Amy, you did wrong and there will be consequences. I didn't. I didn't even do anything. I just did a drawing. Well, thank you so much for taking care of our Yes, of course. Ah. Uh, okay. Right at the end of the clip. Yeah. This is such a so short one. Thank you so much for one. taking care of mm -hmm. Amy. She's concerned about her daughter's injuries. Mm -hmm. But the part that caught her attention, go ahead and point that out. She says, Amy, you did wrong and there will be consequences. Yes. And I think the important thing about this, you know, especially as a parent, sometimes you just feel so pressured to give your consequences in the moment. And I love that, that Marmy is taking care of things that need to be taken care of, right. taking care of all the people involved, thanking the people involved, getting Amy comfortable and tending to her wound but she is still going to teach the principal. And it's important, but not urgent. Right. So it's okay sometimes to put off those consequences. Mm -hmm. And she let Amy know, hey, there will be consequences right. for this, but we'll handle that when it's the right time. Yeah. You know, this really empowers parents too. I love the way that that gives you some breathing room as a parent. You get to think through what are the most appropriate consequences. Mm -hmm. All the kids need to know is that there will be some. Right. So remember, important, not urgent. This next sequence is a really powerful sequence mm. having to do with how we hurt each other sometimes. And in this particular incident, Amy gets left out of something that she really wanted to be involved with. Joe goes off and does her thing. When she comes back, Amy has destroyed her book that she's been writing by hand, by the way. This is before <laughs> word processors. She burned it. She destroyed it and admitted to it once she was confronted saying, yeah, I really did want to hurt you, but I'm sorry for it now. And Joe is just devastated by it. Mm -hmm. This is right after Amy confessed and Joe's reaction and how Marmy handles it. Joe, don't let the sun go down on your anger. Forgive her. Help each other. And you begin again tomorrow. Wow. Yeah, that's a really hard situation. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Now, this is a setup actually for another clip that we're going to share in just a moment. What wise counsel to not allow this to fester and boil inside of you? She knew that if Joe continued to feel this anger toward her sister, it was going to hurt both of them. And, and I like the way she kind of set that up is, is she's helping her see that the anger is going to cause problems for Joe and right. the relationship. Uh, she's not really talking about deserving or any of that. She's really talking about uh, trying to help her see that the relationship, preserving the relationship and your own emotional feeling, you know, by getting rid of the, the frustration, the anger um, is more important than anything else. Right. So this scene in Little Women is one of the most commonly watched scenes. You know, it's really popular because what has mm. happened is Amy is in bed now. She had fallen through the ice. They've got her in bed. She's safe now. But uh, Joe is feeling so much guilt and remorse because she had ignored Amy and did not give her the warning about the thin ice and kind of just wanted her to be aside and was angry at her. Mm -hmm. And this anger had been building up. Now, we, we introduced in the last clip a little segment where Marmy said, don't let the sun go down on your anger. And now Marmy and Joe are about to have a conversation about anger. Listen in, this is great. My fault. She'll be fine. The doctor said they didn't even think she'd catch cold. Now, Marmy is reassuring Joe at this point mm -hmm. uh, because she's feeling the guilt now about feeling the anger. She had something to do with the accident in the first place. She wants to make sure that she's reassured there. And I think that that's 
an important thing for us as mm -hmm. parents. Yeah. Take some time to comfort. Let's see how this plays out. What is wrong with me? I've made so many resolutions and I've written sad notes and I've cried over my sins, but this doesn't seem to help. Mm. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Ah. Well, and I like that my army doesn't just jump in and tell her that her feelings are wrong. Right. You know, I think it's so tempting sometimes for us to just jump in and tell our kids, oh, no, 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 you're just fine. You're, you know, she's helping her process her own feelings right. and going through it with her. And what a common feeling for our kids to have. What's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Why can't I do this right? And Joe's expressing that, but Marmy is at this point simply being supportive. Right. And then she says something kind of surprising. I get in a passion. I get so savage, I could hurt anyone, and I'd enjoy it. You remind me of myself. Right there. <laughs> what did she say? You remind me of myself. Now, you... did, did you notice how surprised Joe yeah, was? Yeah, Joe looks at her like, what? Not you. And you have to understand, I, I love the portrayal of Marmee in this movie because she is so pleasant. Mm, yeah. And we've already commented about that in a few of the other clips, but Joe is affirming to us here that, yeah, this, uh, my mom has it all together <laughs> here, right? But listen to what Marmee says. But you're never angry. You're never angry. I'm Joe's angry nearly angry. every day of my life. You are? I'm not patient by nature. But with nearly 40 years of effort, I'm learning to not let it get the better of me. Wow. I just love that. Yeah. She takes a minute to really help her daughter see that she's real. She's a person, she has her own faults, and that she's continuing to grow and try. And I like, I, I've said so often on this channel that it's so important to let our children see that we are still developing as people right. also. And this is a beautiful example of that. I love Joe's reaction where she says, you, the, you're never angry. And, and Marmy explains to her, look, I'm not this way by nature. I've worked on this. This is the product yeah, of And she doesn't even say, I never get angry anymore. She says, I'm angry nearly every day, but I've right. learned patience. I don't let it get the better of me, mm -hmm. she says. Yeah. Wow, what if we could do that, <laughs> right? Yeah. This is the thing that I love about this particular movie and what it teaches us about being a parent. I think Marmy's example to us to, to be real, to be pleasant, be ourselves. Be ourselves and, and work on the mm -hmm. stuff that doesn't come naturally to us so that it doesn't get the better of us. As parents, it gets challenging. But like Marmy in the movie, we can develop skills and you may want to get a little bit of help and input on that. That's why we have some coaching programs designed. We would love to learn more about your situation and how you're handling the challenges of parenting. Get on a free call with one of our coaches, drpauljenkins.com forward slash breakthrough call. We'd love to have that conversation with you. And I wish I had a number so I could be color unknown. And then I tell how to look into my eyes.